If you want to increase the level of commitment that people have to your team, your function, or even your entire organization, then today's episode of the Leaders Kit Bag is for you. And let me say straight off the bat that it's got very little to do with relaunching your organization's corporate values. You don't need to put new posters on the wall, new posts on your intranet, or issue everyone in the organization with a brand new mouse mat that's got the corporate values on. But increasing commitment does have something to do with values. Hey there, I'm Ben Morton. I'm a leadership mentor and performance coach, and I specialize in working with business professionals who are moving into more senior leadership roles and who are committed to being the very best leader they can possibly be. So, to increasing commitment. I was recently running a leadership workshop, and one of the exercises that I got participants to do was to start thinking about their own personal core values. I took them through an exercise where they selected the five or six values words from a list that were most significant to them. After that, I encouraged them to start thinking more deeply about what each of those words actually meant to them. So for example, if you said family slash balance was one of your most significant values, then I'd encourage them to think about, well, what does family actually mean? When you say family, which family members are you including? And perhaps which family members are you excluding? When you talk about balance, what does balance actually mean to you? What does living a balanced life look like? And once the group had done that exercise, I asked them to stand up and start moving around the room to talk to other people about their values and find people with whom they had some common shared values. Now, this wasn't simply a game of values snap where they were looking for people who had the same values word, but I was encouraging them to talk about their values and what they mean so they could find that connection with people, even if they chose a different word. For example, I might have authenticity as a value, someone else might have honesty, and when you both talk, when we both talk about what those words mean, we find actually there's a shared meaning and connection there. Now, the fascinating thing was, at the end of that exercise, You could hear from the volume, the conversations, and the body language that that group of people were more connected than when they started. And when I asked them, they said they felt connected. In fact, in the final wrap-up of that leadership workshop on day three, one of the things that so many of the 26 people in the group mentioned was that exercise and how it really helped them connect as a group. Because you see, When we have a sense of shared values and beliefs with friends or colleagues, we feel much more connected to them. So values really are key. Great, I hear you say, but what's the empirical evidence? Well, if you've been following me, my work, my podcast for a while, you'll know that I'm a huge, huge fan of the work conducted by Jim Coozes and Barry Posner as published in their books now on the sixth edition called the Leadership Challenge. One of the parts of their research that gets much less coverage is around values and commitment. Their research has shown that clarity around personal values is one of the most significant things that drives commitment in the workplace. Interestingly, clarity around one's own values, around our personal values, is consistently one of the most significant things attributed to positive workplace feelings, emotions and commitment. What's more, their research found that we are, you'll get better engagement 
or sorry the research found that even if someone can't recite the organizational values but are really clear about their own values and beliefs they're much more likely to stick around in the organization and they'll demonstrate far higher commitment towards the organization the team the department's goals and objectives so clarity around personal values feeling connected to our colleagues is critically important and i've seen this time and time again if you want to know more and if you want to help your team to feel more committed to, to you to the team to your objectives then drop me a line via my website ben-morton.com or dm me and we can talk about how to how i can help you with a values workshop to increase the commitment of your team hope it's been useful as always look after yourself look after those who've got the privilege and responsibility to lead and until next time lead on